Welcome to the Ultralight Airplane Workshop. My name is Leon. Let's see what epoxy does to the adhesive on masking tape. I've seen a number of composite layup videos where they've used masking tape to hold layers in place inside a layup stack. And I've done that myself too. But I got to thinking, I've never seen anyone explicitly say what epoxy does or does not do to the adhesive on masking tape. So I thought I'd do a little test to see what it does. The epoxy I'm using is Aero Epoxy. The PR the resin 20 is 32 resin. The hardener PH is 3663. I'm going to put both the resin and hardener on the adhesive side of these tapes. Leave it for two hours, then remove the resin and hardener and see if the adhesive on the tape has been softened or removed. To help figure out what it looks like when it's been softened or removed, I'm going to put some alcohol on the adhesive and then rub it around and remove it. See what that looks like. If the alcohol does not remove the adhesive on the tape, then we'll try something stronger. So what I've just done is I've dabbed a little bit of denatured alcohol on here to see what it does. Well, I think it is do yeah, I think it is removing it. Not very well. It's doing it on the painter's tape. I'm not so sure about the regular masking tape. You know what? I can't really see. Man, it's still sticky. Well, I don't think it actually removed hardly anything. It may have removed a little bit, but not much. So that was denatured alcohol. Let's try something a little stronger. Well, now we've got a little acetone on here. Well, that softened it up. Let's try a little more. I can tell that that softened it up. There's a... It's, I can see that it has softened it up a little bit, but it's still sticky. It didn't remove it even though I rubbed it. Okay, now let's go work on our hardener and resin. When I deposited the hardener and resin, and this one's hardener up here, this one's resin, I just used these popsicle sticks, dipped it in the can, and then put a few drops on there. What I'm using to remove the resin and the hardener is just dry cotton tipped swabs. I did not want to put any solvent on these swabs that might interfere with our results. Okay. I do not see any visible change. I can, I'm looking with light reflecting off of it. Once I cleaned it off, I see no change from the regular tape. Okay, once again, after cleaning it off, I really don't see a difference. It's still sticky. Don't know if I mentioned it or not, but this, both the hardener and resin have been on here for two hours. 
Now I would think if anything would do it, it would be the hardeners. Let's take a look at that. Ah, now the hardener has soaked in. I can see that the hardener has soaked into the tape. Or at least it has stained it. So on this regular masking tape, I'm not seeing, when I lift the tape up a little bit, I can't, I don't see a dark spot. It's still fairly shiny, so not sure what to think. Let's go ahead and turn this piece of tape over. So it did discolor it on this painter's tape, so it soaked into at least the far surface. The grain, you know, if you look at the back side of a piece of tape where the adhesive is, there's kind of a graininess to that adhesive. I can see that the graininess still appears to be present where the hardener was. If I come down here where the acetone was, I can see that where I wiped it, it actually came off. So the acetone removed the graininess, which means it removed the adhesive down here. Here I can still see the adhesive. So even though the hardener soaked into the tape, I believe that adhesive is in large part still on there. So I don't think it removed the adhesive, or if it did, it was just a very, very tiny amount. Now, let me take this piece of tape off and take a look at it a little closer. I'm going to hold it up to the light real quick. Okay, right there where it was. So I can't visibly see any soak through. It's a little harder to see the grain. Okay, I was looking at it closely. I think I can still see the grain here. So again, it may have soaked into the tape, but I can't really tell for sure. But I can it's still sticky, which could be the hardener itself. And I think the grain is still there, although I'm not completely positive. But it clearly within two hours did not completely remove that adhesive, not like the acetone did. So what kind of conclusion should I draw from this? This isn't a, a definitive test. It's not necessarily an accurate test, but it does give me some comfort that at least using some masking tape to tape down corners of the various layers in a layer stack when making a composite part is probably okay. I don't think there'll be an issue. I don't think we have to worry about it dissolving the adhesive and moving it into the part. Another thing that I checked is some masking tape that uh, actually went through the epoxy curing process under vacuum. This is my second attempt at vacuum infusion, and it was a failure, but uh, I learned a little bit more, so we're making a little progress on that. But let me show you where I put the tape on to cut the carbon fiber along the edges. I am able to peel off the tape. Now it comes off in pieces, but I am able to remove it, which means that the epoxy did not soak into the masking tape and it did not dissolve the adhesive on the back side. The, the pieces of tape that, that I am able to peel off are still sticky on the back side. So that means the epoxy did not dissolve the adhesive 
and remove it as the epoxy was flowing through the part. So that's another indication that I believe that using the masking tape when uh, laying up these layers works pretty good and it isn't going to be a problem for the strength of the parts. Well, thanks for watching this testing video. As we progress in the design of our new ultralight, we'll be doing more testing. Most of our testing will be test to destruction of our carbon fiber parts. So look forward to those as uh, we progress.